Hi, everyone. My name is William Robertson, and I'm a professor of STEM education in the teacher education department in the College of Education. I've been a, I'm blessed to say I've been a faculty member here at UTEP now for 15 years. I'm also known as Dr. Skateboard. And people often ask, who is Dr. Skateboard? Or what is Dr. Skateboard? Well, let me give you the backstory. It starts with the skateboard. I was a sk <laughs> I started skateboarding in middle school in Richmond, Virginia, my hometown. It was something fun to do with my friends, and it was something I found I was good at doing. I ended up competing in amateur contests and doing quite well. I ended up traveling up and down the East Coast as well as out to California. I turned professional, entered professional contests. I even got my own skateboard, my own pro model. I did lots of demos all over the place, all over the country, around the world, at really interesting places. Festivals, concerts, skate parks, even NBA half times, as well as schools. In 2010, I was inducted into the Freestyle Skateboarding Hall of Fame. I've been skateboarding for over 40 years and will continue to do so as long as I live. Now for the doctor. I always valued education and knew I wanted to go to college after high school. I went to college, got an undergraduate degree, got a master's, even got a PhD. In fact, I have five different degrees from five different institutions, including a Spanish degree from UTEP. As a faculty member, I was a, a, the recipient of the UT Regents Outstanding Teaching Award was selected to be a Fulbright U.S. scholar living and working in Santiago de Chile, and I also received the President's Award for Outstanding Service. So you put it all together and you get Dr. Skateboard. But to some, it's a contradiction. High achievement in education, doctor, and a renegade sport, skateboard. It may seem like these two things doctor, skateboard, don't belong together, like an oxymoron, such as jumbo shrimp or deafening silence. Yet for me, doctor, skateboard is a mission statement, like access and excellence. With doctor, skateboard, I wanted to appeal to young people with something that was real, relevant, authentic, interesting, the skateboard, and try to bring in the value of pursuing something in higher education. I also wanted to appeal to adults, teachers, parents, community members, not to stereotype young people who might be into something different, unique, non-traditional, and that those things could lead to their success in education. My passion for skateboarding has fueled my life as an educator and has allowed me to do things that have never been done. In fact, my success in skateboarding led to my success in school. As Dr. Skateboard is an example of embracing the contradiction between skateboarding and education. As Dr. Skateboard, I wanted to integrate skateboarding into STEM education. My primary motivation was to provide learning opportunities for young people who may not be that interested in school, who may be a bit marginalized, and try to develop things that were engaging and motivational to help them in school. I also saw that there was a lot of STEM education in skateboarding. So I built curriculum, wrote books, developed activities for the classroom in English and Spanish, as well as made educational action sports videos. Currently, I am working on a comic book or a graphic novel for STEM education for middle school students. I've also done lots of demos in school, especially here in El Paso, performing at elementary, middle, and high schools all across the borderland. I've also done demos at UTEP, bringing top professional athletes many of whom who were X Games gold medal winners, to do shows for over 8,000 students in the Don Haskins Center. 
This was done to show that the, the relevance of STEM education, as well as that UTEP is a place where learning is cool. But how does it work? What does the intersection of skateboarding and STEM education look like? Well, let me show you. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In skateboarding, this can be demonstrated with a trick called spacewalk. As my arms move one way, my leg and my board move the other way. It's the action of my arm that's countered by the reaction of my board. Action, reaction, action, reaction. Let me show you. I bet in 1687, Sir Isaac Newton would never have imagined that some guy on a skateboard in El Paso would demonstrate his law of motion. Has anyone ever told you, you can't do that? Or that's impossible for you to do? Has anyone ever told you straight up, no? I've been told no a lot as a skateboarder. <laughs> No skateboarding on the plaza. No skateboarding allowed in downtown El Paso. No, you can't ride your skateboard here on campus. No, no, no. I've also been told no a lot or in my education. No, you can't do well in high school. You're a skater. No, you can't get a PhD. No way. No, you can't combine skateboarding with teaching. No, no, no. Yet as Dr. Skateboard, I decided not to listen to the no and lean into the yes. My path has not been traditional. Maybe not what you expect. And yes, it can be done. As Dr. Skateboard, I wanted to embrace skateboarding, but also have a platform for bringing in STEM education. So when I hear, no, you can't, I think, yes, I can, and that anything is possible. Be courageous. Take the risk. Embrace the contradictions. Venture into ambiguity. Seek to achieve and really commit to your learning. It's all about leading with your heart. It's about bringing what is uniquely you to all that you do. With Dr. Skateboard, I've tried many times to bring this kind of idea to El Paso and to bring this, the, the things I do with students and people in parks as ways of expressing education in informal and regular situations, in classroom situations. I've also understood that combining your passions with your education is not a straight path and you're gonna encounter some resistance along the way. People really don't know how to handle the contradictions. As Dr. Skateboard, I've tried to bring something I enjoy and am good at doing, skateboarding, and use it as a catalyst for success in the education of others. I've been asked many times in my life, when are you going to, you know, when are you going to stop skateboarding and grow up? Well, to coin a phrase from the roots of skateboarding, the answer is never. Because my passion for skateboarding fuels my drive in education. Remember, la vida es como un río. Life is like a river with many twists and turns and always moving forward. You can do both. You can combine your passion with your education. You can embrace the contradictions for your success. That's what I've tried to do with Dr. Skateboard, to live, work, and play in the intersection of skateboarding and STEM education. And if a skateboarder can become a professor at an R1 institution, 
Really, anything is possible. Thank you.